Hello, my name is Uma Srikumaran, and I'm a shoulder specialist at Johns Hopkins in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery. It's an exciting time in shoulder surgery, and there are many emerging technologic innovations that are helping us take care of complex problems. I wanted to share with you today five of these technologies in no particular order. The first one is the intramedullary cage for proximal humerus fractures. These fractures can be quite challenging to treat with typical plate and screws. This inflatable cage is made of nitinol metal and offers many advantages and has allowed us to care for patients with these complex fractures. Early research has suggested improved healing and far fewer complications. The second technology is transosseous rotator cuff repair. The typical approach is to use anchors, which have sutures attached, which are then used to sew the rotator cuff tendon back into bone. This newer technology allows us to place the sutures without the need for anchors, which avoids the need for the foreign material of anchors, may cause less pain, and actually costs less. Next, we have the subacromial balloon spacer, which is a solution for some patients with massive rotator cuff tears. The balloon acts to cushion the humeral head, recenters it within the socket, and may help other muscles compensate for the original tear that was not repairable. The balloon is simple and quick to insert and offers similar benefits to our current techniques, which are more time consuming, complex, and costly to perform. The technology is available outside the United States and is currently under FDA review. The next technology is also for massive rotator cuff tears. This is a newer tendon transfer developed by Dr. El Hassan and has recently grown in popularity. The rotator cuff is reconstructed by rerouting the lower trapezial muscle to the inside of the shoulder to help mimic the action of the torn rotator cuff, which may no longer be repairable. Finally, we have the exciting area of computer-assisted templating, navigation, and guidance. This allows us to improve our accuracy and precision when it comes to shoulder replacements and helps us match the patient's anatomy with the various implants used in this procedure. The technology is helpful before the surgery and planning stages as well as during surgery. You can think of this as GPS for shoulder replacement. Thank you for your time and interest.